Hello traders at CMC Markets. This is Trevor Neal, analyst at RRG Research. This is a short-term update for the 13th of December um, and I'm talking to you from London. It's a busy week for central bank announcements but the big shock would be if they actually did something. Now we're going to start uh, looking at the relative rotation graph and today we're going to be looking at uh, the US stock indices, the FTSE and, and the DAX. Um, as you can see uh, the, we've got a dispersion, we've got a good direction in the DAX, a little bit of blunting of that. The next is the Dow Jones Industrial Average which is um, pointing easterly, so it's not climbing, so it's not positive momentum, it's pointing easterly. Then we've got the S&P, which is highly correlating on this daily RRG with the benchmark, which is the MSCI world. So it's moving with the MSCI world itself. The NASDAQ is hooked around um, in the lagging quadrant, an unfamiliar place uh, for the NASDAQ to be there, uh, turning up, but still too far on the left. And then most left of all is the, is the FTSE is in the improving quadrant. It's moving easterly, not in northeasterly. It's easterly and it's still quite far to the left. So in the order of best to worst, it's a DAX, then FTSE, S&P, correlating with the benchmark and the Nasdaq improving. The, the thing is, the stock markets themselves are all going up. So when we look at the, the S&P, which is correlating with the MSCI world, we'll see a bull market. But which is stronger bull market, that's over on the right here, and which is weaker bull market, and they're all bull markets, are, is on the left here. So it's a question of, it's a bull market in stocks, but which is the best one to get the outperformance to generate alpha over the average, uh, which is in here. So let's look at these. We'll go, uh, we'll look at the S&P first, because if you like, that's the state of global stocks. And then we'll look at what's better and what's worse in it. Now, here's an hourly chart of the S&P. The S&P had a major break a couple of days ago when it broke through 4,006. 110. It broke, pulled back, nice rejection as it retested the breakout point and then it's powered ahead nicely. On its own, there's a great looking chart. MACD is positive and the gap is now widening or it's narrowing and the RSI is powering ahead here. So it wouldn't be bad or wrong or a bad thing to be in uh, the S&P, but can we do better? Well, let's start with where we could do worse, uh, which is the FTSE. So on the FTSE, this doesn't look like that kind of bull market. It is moved barreling up in a channel, though recent days when the other markets have been going up strongly, it has uh, pulled back. And you see here we've got this uh, twisting around sort of behavior in the MACD here, up, down, up, down, up, down. The, the channel is generally upwards, uh, but it's currently the move is downwards when everything else is moving up. So this is not looking attractive at all. Maybe it's going to come back to, to support on this uh, trend line, perhaps. So it's too difficult to draw. They don't really line up properly, but it would uh, be around 7,510 area. But this is a standard side market. It's not even a good market to sell because the whole complex is going up. Now, next is the, the NASDAQ. Again, hourly chart here. The big break for it was 16,120, breaking through that. Then we powered ahead from that since. And so it's improving on a relative basis, but it's still in the lagging quadrant. We, the MACD is looking good. The RSI is looking good as well. But, and it wouldn't be wrong or bad, of course it wouldn't, to be long of this. It's looking good. It's moving towards some higher resistance, but it's, it's looking good, but it's not actually the best. Where would you buy this at such an extreme value? I'm very difficult to know what to say here without any sort of pullback in it. But let's look at the ones which are even stronger. This is Dow Jones Industrial Average. This has got a nice uptrend in it. Low, higher low, higher low here and higher low here. Nice uptrend. Breaking through resistance, approaching some resistance from 36,950 but it put it pushing forward. But a bit of a worry here is the decline in momentum in the MACD, but it's not severe. We've still got high, higher, high, and higher, high, higher, high, and higher, high, and it 
after this pause correction here, it's about to give crossover and give a positive signal again. So I'm not too worried about that. The RSI corrected quite sharply here to back uh, to about 60 and then has rallied, correcting an overbought con condition here and powering ahead again. And this is giving it its position. The, uh, the relative performance of it is extremely good. Now to the DAX. Those of you that heard my last report on this from yesterday knew that I was a bit concerned about the loss of momentum in this fantastic bull market that we have in the DAX. The latest leg of it from the 28th, we had a nice uptrend line, but what I had noticed was on the MACD, we'd got severe loss of momentum and also on the RSI, severe loss of momentum in this period. Yes. And I suggested that it was likely that we were ready for a pause. We're having a sort of pause, it's hardly a pause, I must say, and so as pauses go, it's not much of a pullback. I suggested uh, previously that there was support at 16,730, and then more support, which would probably hold at 16,600. But I must say that given the, the resilience of the market, th this pause may actually already be over. On the MACD, the lines are still widening on the downside, so we still have got continuing loss of momentum. On the RSI, uh, we've come down and we need to break this downtrend line in the RSI, which is currently at 72%, to have, say that this pause is over. But I think that if it is close to over, I think. The longer term, intermediate term trend is strong. This pullback is remarkably weak. I think that, that, that uh, five area. So there we have it. The, we've got a big bull market going on in, in stocks, but there are leaders and laggers. This is very easily revealed in the RRG chart. The S&P is moving with the average of all the, the markets. The Dow is better than the S&P relatively, and the DAX is better than them all relatively and it looked like it was going to have a bit of a pause but it looks as though the pause is very meek and mild and it is already getting close to getting ready to resume its its rise its leading rise and the poor, poor old FTSE is yes you've got an upward channel but we're on the downward leg of the upward channel which is counter the direction of everything else and it may have its day uh, it's in a position to do that but not at this moment. I thank you all very much indeed. I hope you found this helpful. Um, it's been a pleasure to speak to you. I wish you a great day and may the trend be with you. Goodbye.